Welcome back today. I want to talk about the concept of how important is sex in a relationship? I mean, have you ever argued about sex in your relationship? That and finances are the number one reasons why people argue. So stay until the end to learn the benefits of sex for you physically, mentally, and emotionally, and learn some trips to increase it. Ah, you can't wiggle too much. <laughs> so when we're talking about physical intimacy, there are a lot of challenges that show up in people's relationships because we're taught certain things socially. We're taught certain things through religion, through culture, through what we observe from our parents or the adults or people around us. We may have been shamed for sex. We may have had some kind of trauma or some abuse. And all of these things will inform how we're able to interact with our partner sexually. In fact, I teach a whole seven week course course called Path to Passion to help people overcome these challenges so that way they can find more intimacy in their relationship. But listen to this. I'm going to read this off here. A Dartmouth study of over 16,000 Americas said sex is the number one activity that produces the largest amount of happiness. Isn't that amazing? And did you know that the American Journal of Gerontology said that happiness contributes to longevity? So in other words, having sex makes you happy and being happy makes you live longer. So number one, sex can actually increase the quality and the length of your life. Pretty good reason. Research also shows that having over 200 orgasms a year can actually change your physiological age by six years. So instead of going to that meta spa and getting all the plastic surgery, all you have to do is have orgasms and they can be self-induced, just saying. And what's the number one excuse that we often hear? I can't have sex because I have a headache. And that may be true, but did you also know that sex produces endorphins? And endorphins reduce pain. So it's actually shown that when you increase your sexual activity, you can increase your endorphins in the body, which changes your hormones, which actually reduces pain. And not just headaches, pain anywhere in the body. Plus, think about it. You're moving. You're increasing your pelvic strength. You're increasing your core strength. You're raising your heart rate, right? It's shown that men that have sex at least three times a week are 50% less likely to have heart attacks and strokes. Isn't that amazing? Women, did you know that it can actually normalize your menstrual cycle? It can increase bonding to your partner. It can make you feel more connected, more loved, which is kind of a double bind, right? Because sometimes like I don't feel connected and loved and therefore I don't want to have sex. But can you find that way to do, to connect with your partner so that way you can shift that and use that as another method of bonding. And let me tell you, we're not the only mammals that use sexuality to bond. In fact, look at the bonobos species of monkeys. So I don't know if they're monkeys or chimpanzees or what, what genre they're in, right? But National Geographic actually talks about how they're almost like they've read the Kama Sutra. They will try every position imaginable as they touch each other and play with each other. And that increases their culture, their community. Socially, it reaffirms their bond. It resolves conflict within everything. So isn't that interesting that even other mammals use sexuality, not only as a means to procreate, but as a way to receive pleasure and connect with others. But if you have challenges with this desire, first thing to do is decrease your stress. Maybe that means overall in your life. Maybe that means just before you interact with your partner during the day, take some deep breaths, do some meditation, get in your body, right? So there's an exercise where if you feel yourself thinking, right, you're in your head, you're in your head, take a breath, and bring your awareness and try to bring that energy from your head down into your heart. And really then take another breath and bring it down into your gut, into your pelvis. And feel that, like really be present in your body. Because when we're present in our body instead of in our brain, A, that'll quiet the monkey mind up while we're trying to be intimate with our partner. But B, we can also allow those hormones, that parasympathetic nervous system, that relaxation response to come in. When we're more relaxed, we're more sensitive, we're more able to orgasm, we're more able to receive pleasure. And it doesn't have to be about the big O at the end, right? Be playful, no expectations. So use your desire to enjoy.
because sex is important, but it's even better when there's no expectations of who's going to do what, how fast or how slow someone's going to orgasm. Are they going to orgasm or not? Enjoy the time together. De-stress, enjoy the time together. Biggest tips. Just remember that you're loved, you're loving, you're lovable. Everything you are in the bedroom is normal. It's fantastic. Enjoy it. Share it with your partner. We'll see you next time.